Hi, I'm Nicole Scott with BNETTV.com. I'm down here at CTIA Wireless in Las Vegas. I am joined by John Phelan from Synaptics. How are you doing today? Great. How about yourself? I'm not doing too bad. Now I see you have a plethora of phones and gadgets in your hand. And I have a veritable myriad. Myriad of yes. phones. Exactly. So I'm very curious to hear about your company okay. and then about the phones. Okay. So Synaptics is a supplier for interface solutions for consumer electronic devices. If you have a laptop, you probably use one of our products every day, the touchpad. And if you have an Apple iPod, there's a good chance that the scroll wheel in there is one that we made as well. And so our job is basically to provide input solutions for people to include in their products to make them work better and more usable. And our customers do that in a lot of different ways. And in the mobile space, it's even more diverse than it is on the notebook space. In the notebook space, you might see us in the touchpad or some multimedia book control buttons. But in phones, we're doing things all across the board, including a couple uh, kind of first in the industry too. Uh, for, for example, this is the LG Prada phone. Mm -hmm. This was launched in March of last year by LG. This is the first capacitor touchscreen phone on the marketplace. Um, that for finger-based interactions and uh, all kinds of cool, fun things of that sort. Mm -hmm. So LG partnered with Prada to really have a cool, hot ID because it's Prada. And so yeah. we really helped them do that. That's one of the reasons people use the technology because it drives not only the industrial designers to do absolutely fantastic lines, but also drives the overall user experience to be actually more usable as well. Because now the entire screen can uh, change and modify to do what you need, whether it's in a calendar mode or a gaming mode or, or any of those kinds of things that it's not going to open. And so that's it, having a lot of adoption in the market today. Now, we also show up on phones like this Pantech phone and another place where you don't even realize you're using a touchpad. In this case, uh, Pantech used uh, our technology to allow novice texters a really easy way to put text in. So we actually have a 2D touchpad in the, the mm -hmm. keypad. So you actually can start doing character entry and things of that sort. Think about finger writing kinds of things mm -hmm. on underneath the keypad. So if you're an older user, you don't know T9 super duper well, you can now start to enter text. Hi. Hi, very good. <laughs> you can also imagine that same technology being used for uh, mid-range phones for GPS navigation, web surfing, and things of that sort. Mm -hmm. And so we're really trying to do a lot of things to help enable not only cool user experiences, but also cool ID. <coughs> and when it comes to cool ID, and when it comes to cool ID, <laughs> there's a couple things that have gone out this year that have been enabled by our technology. This is the Chocolate 2 mm -hmm. by LG, uh, shipping in North America and on Verizon. And they use our one touch technology as a way to make incredible buttons that improve the performance of the previous chocolate, as well as they blend it with a little bit of haptic feedback. So not only do you get a really nice ID for a phone you actually want to show off that you're using, but also it works well enough to actually tell other people how much you enjoy it. Fantastic. Yeah. Ha ha. <laughs> Nothing up my sleeve, but I happen to have it in my pocket. Like a magician. <laughs> This is a Samsung phone. It's basically the big sister to the Soul, which is getting a lot of coverage here mm -hmm. at the show today, uh, the U900. And what they've done here for this platform is that these are actually touch buttons. And if you look at it, these aren't your normal up, down, left, right buttons. Mm -hmm. They're actually little shortcut keys. Mm -hmm. It's a little aggressive with its power management there. To basically help, uh, let's say you go to the music player and you find uh, a song that you want to play. Well, now, these become transport controls. So what happens here is that as you're putting more and more functionality in these handsets, this part of the UI actually changes to teach you how to make use of all those features. So rather than being limited by complex menu trees and structures and all that kind of stuff, this actually helps users get better access to the full functionality on the handsets. And we actually provided the sensor for that. Oh, so some level, very cool. this is the soul of soul. And so we provided the, the, the solution here that basically enables them to have that kind of experience and consulted with Samsung to help them with their UI design, make sure they use our powers for good. So the, the core of what we provide are actually these overall what we call sensor modules. So this is an example of the sensor module that was in the Prada phone. And here's one out of, uh, well, this is actually, is it shipping in a product? This is an internal prototype. This is a glass sensor and this is a plastic one. Depending on the handset, they may use one or the other. And if they get really crazy, they'll use both, but no one's that crazy yet. The cool thing about what we do, in addition to doing the sensor, 
our little chip right here, part of our secret mojo, is what we call our enhanced gesture reporting. Mm -hmm. Anybody can tell you where your finger is, yeah. but we actually have the smarts and our algorithms on our chip to figure out whether you're doing a pinch, whether you're doing a flick, and a few other crazy things coming down the pipe as well. Mm -hmm. So what that does, it makes it easier for the handset folks to actually integrate these new features and functionality. So rather than having to do all the analysis and heavy math on the host processor, which drives down battery life and makes it all go slow and we all want poppy, fast mm -hmm. UIs, we do the heavy lifting for them. So it makes it easy to bring that actually into the forefront so they can focus on creating cool experiences and also on figuring out what your finger's doing. Very neat, very neat. Now, is this a flexible chip on the end there? Or uh, it's, well, the, the this connector is, is uh, flexible. The chip itself is kind of not so flexible, but we really try to do a lot to make sure that this fits into all those tight spaces yep, yep. on the handheld products. So thinner, better, et cetera. Well, John, that's very interesting. It's always very cool to see what's new with uh, touchscreen technology because it is where all the handsets are going. It is. It really is. Well, thanks so much. This has been John Phelan from Synaptics, and I'm Nicole Scott with BNetTV.com, finding out what's new with touchscreens and mobile.